Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tempe Creek where we talk and work on homesteading, viticulture, and our winery operation. It's basically everything we do on the farm. If you're into that content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Today we're tackling the question, how much do farm animals cost? <laughs> Before we get started, I want to make this video a resource for everybody. So if you know of a place where you can get high quality or very cheap animals, make sure you put it in the comments below. I will start putting all those uh, comments in the description as we build a bigger resource for everybody to use in case you're in the search of an animal. I don't care what type of animal you know of. It could be a camel, zebra, giraffe cow, chicken, whatever animal you know that where you can get a really good deal or a really high quality animal, make sure to include that in the comments. All right guys, let's start with everyone's favorite chickens. We got our chickens at Tractor Supply for $5.99 a chick. I said this before, I do not recommend going to Tractor Supply. We just got caught up in the moment. We saw those chicks there, they're so awesome. And so we ended up getting them. However, if I had to redo it all over again, I would go through a website. I haven't done it yet, but I will be doing it next season um, in the spring. A website called McMurray's Hatchery. I'll put the link in the description. I have all sorts of birds, not just chickens, um, but I hear a lot of good reviews about them. <clears throat> so I will be buying my next chicken from there, my dream chicken. Uh, dream chicken, um, which is a blue Americana. They look so cool to me, so that's what we'll be getting next. So with that being said, let's go ahead and meet the girls. Here we have our rooster Big Spurs, along with his original three girls we got, which are Cher, Dion, and the other one. And then we have one Rhode Island Red who's named Rosita. And then we have 11 of our Golden Fleece Flock, um, which were the ones that we got at Tractor Supply. Next on the list, guys, is a donkey. We got these guys for free. And I don't recommend that buying donkeys unless you're gonna use them for some purpose, I don't know. But our donkeys basically are here just for an attraction. The way we got these guys is basically we decided, hey, we want some donkeys, but we do not want to pay for them. And so what we did is looked on Craigslist and immediately we saw a bunch of free donkeys um we called one up and they said you could have them for free if you come within the next hour or so and so we went to go get them this is april this guy is jack he was also free all right guys here we are in the aviary where we have guineas and peacocks we got the peacocks for $30 from a seller on Craigslist. They were not full grown peacocks actually, they were just pea chicks. We also have 14 guineas that we purchased, um, 11 of those at $7 each, again from a Craigslist ad. The rest we got for free, actually we traded them for a bottle of Moscato. So let's go ahead and look at these guys and see what's going on. <clears throat> I also forgot to mention that we got a rooster out of that five deal. Um, so here, the rooster and those five, those five guineas around him, that is what we got for a bottle of Moscato. Here is the rest of the pack. Um, eventually, we will be free-ranging these guys, um, but we want the peacocks to get full grown before we let them do that. They're just about there, um, but we might winter them in here. The last animals, but definitely not the least, it is our small herd of longhorn. Here we have the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. These are two little calves that dropped this year. One is Pepe Le Pew. And this little brown one is Queen Isabella. This is our second bull for the herd. Um, his name is Domino. He was a bottle calf. And then lastly is our show steer. You guys see lots of pictures of him. It is Voldemort. Originally he was going to be our first, first steer that we slaughtered. However, his horns were too big even when we first got him. The butcher told us that in order for us to uh, slaughter him, they would have to shoot him in the head outside and then drag his body in. My wife didn't want that. Um, and so he ended up he ended up saving himself just with the size of his horns. Originally his name Voldemort came up from the fact that we were gonna name every steer. We're going to slaughter Voldemort and then they would just keep coming back. All right guys, so our original herd was five cows that we bought for $5,000. Two of them were heifers that were already impregnated. 
Um, we had two steers and the bull. So that puts about a thousand dollars a cow and almost everyone here has been part of the original herd other than our bull and we bought him for five hundred dollars which is kind of the going rates guys um for cows or is about five hundred dollars for a cheap cow if you start getting into specialty cows you might go a little bit higher than that um and then we got all our cows every single one on craigslist um so craigslist for the win I don't know, it just seems like we get all our animals from Craigslist. There you have it guys, so it seems like Craigslist for the, for the win. If you're into this type of content, make sure you check out these other videos. Don't forget to add in your recommendations of where to get really quality animals for everybody else. And as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe.